Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is same tree. So in this question, we're given roots of two binary trees, P and Q, and we have to write a function to check if they are same or not. Two binary trees are considered the same if they are structurally identical and also the nodes have the same value. So for example, here you can see the structure of these two binary trees are same and the values present inside them are also same. That is why we return true. But here, as you can see, the values are same but the structure is not the same. This node has a left child and here this node has a right child. The values are same but the structure is not the same so we return false. Here the structure is same but the values are not same. The left child's value here is 2 but here it is 1. Now let's see how we can solve this question. So in the example 1 the structure of both the trees is same. So first we start with p and q. So this is p and this is q. We check if there is a node. Yes, both of them are having a node. So for every node, first we have to check if there is a structure present that if both the nodes are not equal to null. And the second check is that both the nodes have the same value. So first we have checked if both the nodes are there. Yes, both the nodes are there. And now we have to check the value. The value is 1 and the value is 1. Yes, the second check is also passing. And now we explore the left child. So we go here. P is now here. And here too, we go to the left child. So Q is now here. We check if P is not equal to null. Yes, p is not equal to null. We check if q is not equal to null. No. Now we check the value. The value is 2. The value is 2. So this check is also passing. Now, now the left child and right child for p is null and here also there is null and again there is null. So here again we go to the left child. It is pointing to null and we go to the uh, left child of q. It is pointing to null. So they are matching. So not problem. So now we go back and we access the right child. Yes, it is a null. Yes, it is a null. Now we retrieve back and we retrieve back. This is already visited. Explore the right child now. So Q is now here and P is now here. We check if P and Q are not null. Yes, P and Q are not null. We check the values. 3 and 3 are same. Yes. And we visited all the nodes and we never returned false anywhere. So that is why the output is true for this example. Now let's take example 2. So P is this and Q is this. We check if P and Q are same. We check if both are having nodes. Yes, both are having nodes and we check its values 1 and 1 both are same. Now we explore the left child of P. So P is now here. Now we explore the left child of Q. So Q is now here but Q is pointing to null. So there is no left child. So this is null. So now we check if P is having a node. Yes P is having. We check if Q is having a node. No Q is not having a node. So they are not structurally same. So we return false as the output immediately when P or Q if either of them is having null. So like in this example here both of them were having null so if p if p was here and if q was here both of them were having null then they are structurally same but here p is not having null but q is having null so we return false now let's take the third example we start with p and this is q we check if both of them are having nodes yes both of them are having nodes we check the values yes both of them are having one value so they are same now explore the left child now p is here and q is here we check if both of them are having nodes yes we check the values 2 and 2 both are same so explore the left childs again for both those nodes so p is now here and q is now here but q is pointing to null we check if p is having a node yes p is having but q is not having a node so again they are not structurally identical so we return false as the output now let's take another example so here p is starting here and q is starting here we check if both of them are having nodes yes check if the values are same yes both values are same so explore the left child so explore the left childs now p is here check if p has a node yes check if q has a node yes now check the values p has 2 but q has 7 both are not equal to each other so they are not having the same value so this condition is failing so we return false immediately no need to explore the further nodes so for this we are going to write a recursive code where we are going to form all the conditions and iterate through p and q binary trees simultaneously so that we access the same structure node each time now let's take a look at the code coming to the function given to us this is the function name and these are the input trees p and q given to us and we have to return a boolean value true or false as the output so first we have to check if the current node we are pointing at p or q are both null if they are both null then they are identical right so we return true so if p is equal to null and if q is equal to null both are identical so we return true and now we have to check if p is null and q is not equal to null or if q is null and p is not equal to null then they are not identical so we return false so if p is equal to null and q is not equal to null 
or if p is not equal to null and q is equal to null then in that case we have to return false it means the structure is not the same and now we have checked the structures we checked if p and q are both null we return true if one of them is null and one of them is not null then we return false now we have to check the second type of identical that is if the nodes have the same values so if p.val is not equal to q.val we return false so if the current node we are at we compare the values inside p and inside q if they are not equal we return false and now finally we have to keep recursively doing first we'll visit all the left childs and we have to do this simultaneously in both p and q binary trees so first we explore p.left and simultaneously we do q.left and then again if there was a node here we again go down to the left again we go down to the left here too so we recursively call the function is same tree and pass p dot left and q dot left and now again we have to check if recursively calling we have to call on all the right children so p dot right and q dot right so i pass p dot right and q dot right here so this function will return true or false so this is the recursive function first we are making on all the left childs and all we, again we are making on all the right childs now let's try to run the code the test case are being accepted. Let's submit the code and a solution is accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n because we are visiting all the nodes at least once. And the space complexity is also O of n because this recursive function will use a stack. It's called the recursive stack, which will be of n height. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.